welcome to the Move With Joy studio. We are here and ready to do some yoga and Pilates today. So let's get started. We're going to start with our feet about hip width apart. Raise all of our toes. And then just start spreading each toe one at a time down on the mat. Just waking up those feet. Let's do that two more times. Good. And last one. And then reverse. Let those toes spread each toe one at a time down on that mat. We're just grounding our feet a little bit. And then on this last one, spread each toe all the way down. Raise the arms. Rise up to the balls of the feet. We're just going to hold our balance here. Just squeeze, engage through those abdominals. Think about tipping your pelvis forward. So if I show this from the side, rather than arching down, tip that pelvis a little forward. Stay nice and tall. We're going to hold it for four, three, two. And then on one, lower those heels. We're going to sweep the arms up. Breathe in. Exhale, big forward fold over the leg. Lift the gaze forward, find that monkey pose. Again, I'm going to show this from the side, just lengthen that spine. And then reverse on back, all the way back up. Inhale. Exhale one more time, big forward fold. And then let's soften the knees here and sweep the arms up into a chair pose position. We're going to run this chair pose, pull our elbows back, we'll lift our heels, and then lower the heels, sweep the arms forward. And again, pull the elbows back, we'll lift the heels. Lower the heels, arms sweep forward. Last time, pull those elbows back, lift the heels. Lower the heels, arms forward. Now stretch out through the leg, lift the chest and heart open, and exhale forward, fold again. From here, we're going to soften our knees and start to step each vertebrae at the spine up one vertebrae at a time. Once we get to the top, step up to the front of your mat so you have space behind you. We're going to inhale the arms up, exhale, fold again. Bend the knees, bring the hands around the feet, and lunge just that left leg back. Just reach that left leg back. We're going to circle our right arm up. I took a little twist here, raising up through that arm. And we're going to drop the arm down and circle it back around for one. Just circle through that shoulder. Two. And here's three. And on our last one, four. Hold that arm high. And just start to release the hip. All the way down. Release the knee, release the toes. Reach back, gaze back at that foot or ankle. You can stay right here, or you can even pull that foot in if you wish. So just see what's feeling better for you today. One more big breath in. Exhale, when you're ready, flex that foot, tuck that to under, raise the arm, bring it all the way around, and just let your body stretch over that right leg. So if you feel like your back heel is still lifted here, which for a lot of us it will be, we're just going to slide that foot in a little bit, get that heel down, so all of our toes face straight ahead, and we're just going to fold over that right leg. Just take a few moments here, breathing in and out, finding that pyramid position. Then sweep the arms out to the side, and reverse the leg all the way up, find that balance, steady through the feet. And then we'll take our hands behind our back, kind of clasp elbow position, or maybe pause in a reverse prayer. We're going to lift the chest, lift the heart, find that balance. And then exhale, fold over that leg again. Very good job. Just take your time balance here. And then release the hand, step that left foot in, and we're going to now lunge the right leg back. Big lunge back with that right leg. Keep that heel lifted, hands around the front foot, and we're going to go ahead and start to circle that left foot up. Pull that stretch for a moment, just lift your gaze, and then just begin to circle through that shoulder, circling that arm all the way around, forward, up, and back. Just really lifting through that right hip, right knee. Two more, circle up and around. One more time. And now we're going to hold it up. We're going to release the right knee, release the right toes. Reach back, gaze back at that right foot. Just hold it here. This may be enough stretch right here, or you may choose to pull that back foot in. Just really feel that stretch in the front of that hip, front of that thigh. Breathing in and out. Take a few more moments here. over the left leg. Take a few moments. Just breathe here. Inhaling and exhaling. Lengthening through that hamstring. And once we feel ready, arms sweep out the side and come all the way up to standing balance. And then take those hands behind the back. And clasping the elbows for palms in a reverse prayer. Lift the chest with the heart. And then lead with that heart coming forward over the front leg. Take your time. Breathe in. Exhale, take one more breath in. 
And then as we exhale, hands come back around that front foot. We're going to step that right foot up to meet the left. Sit back in your chair again. Sweep the arms high. And then we're going to see if we can press all the way through the legs. Arch back. Big forward fold. Lift the gaze again, monkey pose. And then bend the knees, hands around the feet. You can lunge back to a plank here or jump back to a plank. So just find that strong plank position. Belly button here is fine or strong. We're going to do a little practice here, getting in and out of that plank position. So from your plank, try to keep your core beats the whole time. We're going to drop the right knee, and then we're just going to raise left leg right arm up. We're going to place it back down, step back into your plank, and then lower left knee, raise right leg left arm. Tuck that right shoulder, step back into your plank. So we're going to do this one more time, off your knee. So reach out with that arm and leg. Tuck that toner, go through the plank each time. Good. And then left leg, right arm, left arm out. Good. Tuck the right toe, step back through. Two more times. Right knee drops, so reach back next to more. Good. Tuck that toe, step back through your plank. Left knee down, right leg, left arm, reach back. And tuck that back toe, back through your plank. Hold. Lower the chest, and then bend those elbows. Drop the knees if you need to, and then we're going to lift the chest. Curl that chest up, breathe in. Exhale, round, stretch back through that child's pose. Let's roll through this a few times. So we're going to let our chest slide forward, curl that chest up, then look back at the belly, round through the spine, hips to heels. And again, slide forward, curl that chest and heart open, breathe in. Exhale, round up through the spine, hips to heels. This is our last one. We're going to just curl up, lift through the chest, open, breathe in. And then exhale, round back into that child's pose. Bring it down from here. Tuck the toes under. Breathe in. And we're going to exhale. Shoot out to that plank again. So you just shoot right out to that plank. We're going to go ahead. Add a little chaturanga push up. And then bend the knees. Squatting back. Push the heels back. Bend through the knees again. Shoot out to plank. Take a little chaturanga push up if you can. If the push up is a bit much, just shoot out to that plank and hold. Sit back through that squat. And push back into downward dog. And bend the knees. Shoot out. Hold that plank or take that push up. Good. And squatting back and pushing through the heels again. Let's try just two more of those. So bend through the knees. Shoot out through that plank. Core engage lower and lift. Bend through the knees again and push the heels back. This is our last one. Bend through the knees. Breathe in. Exhale. Shoot out that plank. Take that push up if you like. Come up. Bend through the knees and downward dog. Very good. Walking those feet up. We're going to sweep right leg high. Breathe in. And then exhale, just lunge the right foot up to the top of the mat. Keep the warrior one, sweep the arm back. Circle our wrist out here. Good, reverse that direction. Open the heart and chest. And then reach those hands back down around that front foot. Step back through plank. We're going to lower through chaturanga. Cobra at the third dog. Back through that downward dog. And then left leg is going to sweep up. We're going to lunge that left foot up to the top of the mat. Pivot the back heel. Keep the warrior one. Circle those wrists on again. Reverse. And one more time. Hands around that front foot. Lift that back heel. Step back into plank. And then lower chair on the front up. Cobra upward dog. And go back through downward dog. Walking the feet out. Let's step our feet to the wider edges of the mat. And we're in this wide legged downward dog. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and shift out to plank. And then go to the side of the right foot. Inside of the left foot, raise the left arm. Come back through plank. Roll to the outside of the left foot. Inside of the right foot, raise the right arm. So we're just going to roll through this a few times. We're going to go side for one. And slowly back through center. Other side for two. Good. Slowly back through center. And side for three. Slowly back through center. Last one. Side for four. And slowly back through center. Great job. Slowly lower the body. Let's go ahead. Come down to our elbows, keep that space position. We're going to flex our hands, open through our chest. Just take a moment here, just really stretch out those hands. Relax the hands and then let your right ear drop to right shoulder. Left ear drops to left shoulder and then just roll that chin a little bit, side to side. Once we feel ready right here, let's point through our toes, we'll lift the legs, then reach the arms up to a new position. Open the legs up to a knee. Let's pull our elbows back, heel stretch, and then reach back out. We're going to go here for eight. And seven, keep that breath going here. Six. Inhale, exhale, five. Doing great here, four. 
almost there. Three, two, now one more. We're gonna hold it back, hands under the shoulders, bend the knees, press up like you're coming up from a half push up. Round and stretch back into that child's pose. Take a moment. We're gonna keep our hips mounting towards our heels here. So try to get those hips up into the heels. We're gonna engage our core, roll up through our spine, open through our chest, open through our heart, arms to the side, breathe in. Exhale, arms close by the ears, contract around the spine, come over the thigh. Breathe in, exhale, curl up. Open through the chest, breathe in. Exhale, arms come around those ears, contract back over those thighs. And again, curling up, open through the chest, breathe in. Exhale, arms by the ears, contract round over those thighs. And last time, here we go, rolling up. Open up through that chest, good. And close those arms and come back over the thighs. Take that child's pose, take a few moments here. Just breathing. Very, very beautiful job here today. We're gonna finish up with one more little core exercise. So we're gonna come around to a seated position. We're gonna find a nice tall seated position, feet flat on the ground, spine is tall, breathe in. But exhale, contract your abdominals around the spine and just start to roll all the way to that lower back. Your knees are gonna start to pull into the chest. We're we'll bring our hands around our feet, our ankles. We're gonna reach right arm, right leg out, then pull back in. Left leg, left arm out, pull back in, then both arms and legs. Reach out and pull back in. And again, right arm, right leg, left arm, left leg, and then both arms and legs. Let's do this four more times too. So reach and reach. Keep that chest lifted the whole time if you can. Both arms and legs, breathe in. Exhale, pull back in. And again, right leg and left. And both, breathe in. Exhale, pull in. And again, reach and reach. And both arms and legs, breathe in. Exhale, you are almost there. Keep that breath going. Keep thinking about keeping everything engaged through your core. Inhale, exhale, center. Last time through, right arm, right leg. Pull back in, left arm, left leg. Pull back in. Both arms and legs, reach out. Hug in. Great job. Relax your upper body. Let your head just rock a little bit side to side. And just begin to circle the knees around in the hips. Let the let any tension go here. We'll just go ahead, bring our feet together, let our knees drop open, take a little reclined butterfly position. Just relaxing here for a moment, letting your muscles settle down into the mat. Keep breath in and out. And once you feel ready, you can let those arms come overhead and just close left and over right. Really twist out through that waist. Open those knees back up, then take right and over left. Twist out through that waist. And then back through center, just stretch everything off. Reach those fingertips back, arms back, breathe in. And then exhale, relax down into the mat. Beautiful work today, waking up our whole back. You're welcome to stay here, rest in each asana as long as you need. But if you're ready, you can roll to one side, gently press up to sit. We'll find a cross leg or a lotus position. And just begin rolling those shoulders up and down the back. Rolling the shoulders forward. We'll let our head tip to one side, other side, and then just roll that head side to side. Take another big inhale. And exhale, let's reach forward, palms open. We're rolling up. Just take a moment, finding something you're grateful for today, setting an intention for the rest of your day, rest of your week. Together. Exhale, palms in front of the heart. Namaste. Thank you guys. Have a beautiful day. I hope you enjoyed this class. You can join uh, the channel by subscribing and you will get notified of any new classes I post. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye.